be making bases. What's going on? It's Ever J Music, and in this video, we're going to be talking about how to access sounds in Logic Pro 10 10.5. There's several different ways you can access sound banks and sounds. Now, basically, what I have here is a software instrument track created. Uh, the first way we're going to access sounds is going to be from the library. All right, if you're brand new to the software, how you access the library is up here at top. If you go here to the top left with these little boxes, you click on this first box you see, that's gonna bring up your library. You can also push Y on your keyboard and that brings it up as well. As you can see, you can actually come over here and they have several different folders that you can search for sounds in. So say if you want to go to drum kits, you can come over here and click on drum kits and search through everything there. Let's say vice versa with guitars, you can know you can go through here and search as well. You can also come over here to the top here where it says search sounds and you can type in a sound that you want to search. Let's say you want to search pianos or piano. Now it's going to bring up all of the different piano sounds that ever were, you know, in the library or anything like that. Let's say bell sounds, you know, saying say you want a bell. These are all the bells that are in the library. It's very useful. The next uh, basic place where we're going to be able to find sounds that I want to point out to you is within the instrument window. And I'm going to show you over here by going to the mixer window what I mean. If you look over here, you have a lot of different options here with your tracks. All right. Where if you go to your input on the track that you're on, there are several different instruments that you can input into, you know, Logic Pro 10. They have Alchemy, which is very popular. Even within Alchemy, I mean, there's like thousands of sounds here that you have option or access to. I'm keep on scrolling. We can keep on scrolling for days. You can actually come over here and search it by category, subcategory, genre, or timbre. And then you also have all these different options that you can use to adjust the sound to your liking. All right. We also have some other different sound banks that you can have access to. There's a drum kit designer. So you can come in here and pick the different types of kicks, tune them, you know what I'm saying, mess with the gain, that's a whole lot of different options there. And we're gonna go in more deep in another video when it comes to actually designing sound, but for the most part, I just wanted to give you an introduction to this, but basically, there's so many different options for sounds right within this area right here. We have some vintage sounds, studio strings, studio horns. You know, we have uh, samplers that you can use. We'll talk about that later. Um, we have a vocoder, okay? If you're familiar with Daft Punk, this is how you're gonna be able to do that different synthesizers, you know, a lot of cool sound banks that you can have access to. Now the third place where you're going to be able to find sounds is going to be in something called Apple Loops. So if you scroll over to the very top right of the screen, there's this little loop that you'll see here. You're going to click on that, okay? And you'll be able to access what's called Apple Loops. If we go over here and drag this out here, you'll see that there's different options that you can choose from. You can choose um, an Apple loop based on instruments. So say if you want a bass loop, then you can choose that. If you want an electric guitar, you can choose it by instrument, you know, different type of ways you can, you know, check out the different loops that are in Logic Pro 10 10.5. They also have a genre option, so you can check it out by genre. So say if you want a jazzy vibe, this has all of the different loops that are jazz related. Um, and then you have descriptions, basically. Um, you have mood, you have different things of that nature. So we got acoustic, clean, distorted, ensemble. You kind of see everything that you can choose from. Dark, dry, groovy, melodic, 
it just really helps when it comes to searching for what you want when it's time to create. And then last but not least, you can also come down here and search for a particular loop as well. So again, if you want a piano loop, you can go put in piano down here. It's going to pull up all the pianos. Another cool thing that you could do is actually click on these options right here. What that's going to do is number one, say if you're playing a certain uh, type of melody that's in a particular key and you want a loop to go along with that, you can click on key and you have different options as far as the different keys. I might have to scroll down a little more, but it's alphabetically uh, organized. Like you see all the C's and then you'll go down, you'll see the C sharps, the D's, you know what I'm saying, D sharps, E's, and it list goes on. Vice versa, you can also do that with tempo. If you click on tempo here, you have all the samples that don't have really you know, too much tempo and then you start with the lowest ones and go all the way up to the faster tempos. You can see how the numbers are escalating. All right. Also, another thing um, you have here is the beat. So you have actually the length of the beat or, or the, even the length of the sample. Some samples are measured in actual seconds and some samples are measured in bars. This is a four bar sample. Um, this is an eight bar sample. You feel me? This is a you know 16, and the, it goes on and on from there. Another cool thing though that there's also available to you is this guy right here. If you click this heart, this is your called your favorites. So any sample that you click on, so let's say if this is this real robot beep is something I want, um, it's gonna go into my favorites, and then I can always search the uh, favorites on here you feel me right over here if you click that you can go to favorites and you know you'll see all of the favorites that you selected anything that you like uh, is gonna be right here under favorites just right here so those are the basic three places where you're gonna find sounds and libraries within Logic Pro 10 10.5 I appreciate y'all watching and I'll see you in another video